which company would make a better long-term investment. Before we begin, I've made a separate analysis for each company. I left the link in the description below. In this video, we're going to compare the business, the stock, and the price of each company. And then we'll put them together to get our final grade comparison. These factors are graded from 1 to 100, with 51 to 60 being considered average. I encourage you to pause this video anytime so you can better understand the numbers. Let's first look at the business. The business examines the company's fundamentals to see if it's actually worth owning. And here are the business grades for both companies, which tells us which is the better business. Let's next look at the stock. The stock examines the company's technicals to see if its stock is attractive enough to own. And here are the stock grades for both companies, which tells us which stock has and will do better. Let's then look at the price. The price examines the intrinsic value or fair value price of the stock. And here are the price grades and intrinsic values of the two companies, which tells us which company is more fairly valued. So before we get our final grade, consider becoming a growth shares patron and get access to my spreadsheet with every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Head to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. Let's put our three factors together to get the final grades for both companies. Here are the final grades for both companies, which tells us which company is a better overall long-term investment. This analysis uses public financial data and a proprietary algorithm to come up with the grades. But what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Comment below. Want to talk business? Email me and follow the instructions on the screen. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.